back with another video and just to warn you guys if you hear any noise in the room my baby is right here on the tablet but we are going to go ahead and get started on this video if you guys are not subscribed to my channel then make sure you go and hit that subscribe button so this video today is brought to you by the company huber hair and this is a wig from amazon this is sold on amazon this is my first Amazon wig review. So Amazon, you know, is the place to buy hair from. Also, you don't have to just go to AliExpress or other companies. Amazon sells hair too. So this unit is a 13 by six curly lace front wig. It's 12 inches, 150% density. It's in a natural black color, medium brown lace in a medium cap size. For this wig that I have, it's $107, which I think is very, affordable because it's under $150. It just came in a black box, so it wasn't really nothing to show you guys, but I did show um, how it looked before I did wash the wig. It came in this nice little bag that you can store the wig in. And of course, I have it on my mannequin head. And a lot of people ask me, where do I get this mannequin head from? You can go to the beauty supply store and ask them, do they have extra head so that's how i got a lot of mine so, this is what the unit looks like now that it is freshly washed and dried i did put a little bit of leave-in conditioner in this unit i use my garnier fructis sleek and shine leave-in conditioner and you do get six inches of parting also the hairline is pre-plucked lace in the back and a comb and then you get your soft lace and you get two combs on the side no comb in the middle and I did add my elastic band on for extra security. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the lace off for you guys and then come back and show you what it is. Guys, so this is going to be a very quick application because I will not be wearing this for a long period of time today. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with cutting the lace off of this unit. And you do not have a lot of lace to cut off. Um, lately in some of the videos I've been doing, the lace was super long. And sometimes that's very intimidating to some people. So they like shorter lace, but either one is fine. You just always have to take your time with cutting the lace off. And also make sure to cut the lace behind your ears so that you can see exactly where the ears will meet, just in case you have to snip some off um, if you do want to glue or free spray this down. Next, I'll be bobby pinning this behind my ear just because like I said, I'm just doing a simple application. And I am making sure that everything is tucked in neat. When you bobby pin behind your ear, make sure the lace is laying down very flat because if you just do it and you're not making sure it's down flat, it will look rolled up, especially like if the wind blows or something or you want to take selfies, you want to make sure it's lying down flat. While I did mow the hair down while it was wet, I did not cut any of the baby hairs shorter because this unit does come with baby hairs. So I'm just going to cut some short ones and I'm not cutting them very thick. And then I'll be going in with my got to be glam force gel. And as you guys can see, this bottle is done. It is done. It's time to move on. <laughs> I'm going to keep squeezing and getting as much as I can out of this bottle until I can find a new one because like I told you guys the stores I mean just don't sell it anymore and when I went to Walmart they didn't have it also so I have to order it online so now I'm just taking my edge brush and you guys know I told you I love to put this gel when I am working with my curly hair just because it kind of gives off a wet look but it doesn't give off a flaky and harsh look to it that's why i love this gel because it holds but it's not like a harsh hole so with the baby hairs in the front i am just swooping them over and i'm not you know going super hard on the baby hairs but i'm taking my time when doing this and it's best to kind of hold your finger and then just kind of mold them the way you want them to be molded you do not have to use gel you guys see me all the time use my lot of body foam wrap so that is totally up to you now off camera, you guys have been seeing me lately use a scarf and that's just because I feel like it just melts everything in and I don't have to um, worry about it not being dry enough and it just lets everything set. So next I'll be going in with my Ruby Kisses 3D Creator Palette in the color light medium and I will be going across the hairline my cons about this wig is that the hairline can come off very light and I feel like you need some type of powder on camera it looks fine but 
Um, I don't know if I told you guys I do a lot of testing with my photos just to make sure the lace is legit when it comes to the sunlight or just a selfie and during that process I noticed that the lace was still coming off kind of light so you will need to use powder or you may have to go in and tint your lace depending on the color of your skin tone so also on one side of this unit it was a little bit longer there were some straggly pieces so I made sure to go in and cut that down because I wanted to have everything blended in evenly and also in the very front that part in the front was very frizzy for me I'm not sure why it was like that but I made sure to cut that down also because I didn't want any uneven pieces in the front also then I'll be going in with my Garnier Fructis sleek and shine serum and just kind of fluffing it up and making it more fluffy it states that this unit is 150 percent density um, I feel like it is 130 percent in density I definitely think that they should work on their density amount because like when I turn around it just seems to be a little bit thin in the back but I feel like this will be perfect for somebody who is a beginner when it comes to curly hair because curly hair is a little bit high maintenance and this one is not high maintenance at all. This will be easy to refresh, put some products in it and go. This one does not require too much, which I love. The hair is nice and soft. And one thing I can say is I did not get a lot of shedding and I also didn't run across a lot of tangling. Guys, like I said, this is beginner friendly. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave it down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on your notification button, share and like this video, and I will see you guys the next time. Bye guys.